Salutations, this is Jason Silverane, and I'm just about to show the alternative ending to Port of Call. Now, there was one little thing I wanted to mention, as um, last time I did this I didn't find all the crayons. I found every, everything else. The last crayon you actually have to go through here, and it's located just like back here. Um, but it doesn't appear until like you start seeing ghosts move around the ship and stuff. So. You know, pick it up after you've done the third person. If you're going to play through this, I mean, granted, I've just played through the entire game, so I can imagine no one else wants to download and go through all this. The other thing uh, I should mention is when you talk to the captain in there, he d you can actually ask him questions, and I just kind of clicked from through, assuming it'd be like, what do I do next type questions. No, he actually does have some decent things you can ask him. Expands the game a little bit more. So now we're going to choose death. After I talk to these two again. <laughs> yep, and now we talk to the very man. Now, I'm gonna. I chose life before you wake up in the hospital. Ah. Oh, that's a bit of a bug. Bit of an irony. Go to the other side. You get a white screen. You go back to life, you get a black screen. And yeah, that was hardly different at all. I'm glad I didn't play through the whole thing for you guys, just for, you know, recording it all, that is. I just did have to play through the whole damn thing again. Oh well. Well this one's all done for me. I've got all the achievements. I've seen all the endings. Pretty much figured out the story like in the first two minutes. And it didn't crash this time at the end. Fair enough. Port of Call. Small free game on Steam. Kind of buggy. But, you know, not bad. Not bad if someone's a little pet project. Okay, that's it all for me. Thanks for watching.